Hello all, welcome back. So in this section, we are going to see how we can create CI/CD pipeline using Terraform, Google Cloud, and a uh, GitHub workflow that is a uh, GitHub Actions. So what we are going to do, we are going to create some uh, Google Cloud resources using the Terraform, and that we want to automate using the GitHub workflow using the GitHub Actions. So our main purpose is whenever we are pushing our code to the repository, which will be our Terraform code then automatically the ci cd pipeline should execute and it will run the terraform init plan and apply at the back end so that is a basic project we are going to do here so i will just walk you through what are the steps we are going to see uh, in this video uh, so first we'll create one a github repo so we want to store our terraform configuration files in repository so we'll create one a github repository then we'll clone that repo to our local environment and once we clone a repo to the local environment in a vs code we will create a terraform configuration file so we will take sample uh, example for creating gcs bucket or virtual machine and then we'll create a terraform configuration file to create that resource then uh, we'll create service account so whenever we are using a terraform uh, we need something to authenticate from terraform to a google cloud so either we can use access token or we can use the service account keys so here we will create a service account we will download the service account key and we will create a github secret and we will add the service account key in a github secret so it won't be visible and during the runtime of the github action it will fetch the service account keys from the github secret and authenticate with a google cloud environment to create the resource and then we'll create a github action workflow so we'll see in detail how we can create a basic workflow to execute our terraform command and how to execute terraform init plan validate apply all these commands in a github once we push our code to the repository okay and then we'll push our code so whenever we push our code we configure workflow in a such a way that whenever we are pushing to the particular branch of the repository it will trigger the workflow and then workflow will execute our terraform command okay and then we'll see if everything is working fine so during this process we might face uh, issues but we'll definitely solve all the issues and we'll further go ahead with our project okay so now we'll move ahead with our first step in this small session okay so our first step is to create a github repository so let me go to uh, google and go to the github.com okay so i'll just start it from basic okay and here this is my oh, github account so if you don't have github account you have to create it is totally free and there you will get option to create a repository okay so here i am having option like i have a couple of repos here so i can click on new so it will create give me option to now here I will just give GCP Terraform so it will check for availability so it is available inside my github account so I will use this so currently I will keep it as a private repository so only I can access it. definitely I will use a readme file and the gitigno template I will use for Terraform so the, it will not upload unnecessary files to my github action uh, github folders okay and yeah so let me create repository so this is very simple step to create a, a repository now uh, we created a repository here now we'll go and clone this repository in my local so how to clone that so just go to any of the folder so okay first thing you have to make sure you install a git bash in your uh, system so i have git installed on already so this will give me this option so simply i will click on my folder and i will open git bash here okay so it will directly go into this folder i am inside this d drive okay now i can clone repo using so currently there are only two files like readme.md and this is like a dot git ignore so i can go on code i will use https I already my account is authenticated when I install a git bash so I will simply do a git clone and the address we copied so it will copy
okay so it is giving some character so let me uh, remove that okay now it is cloning the repo and it cloned my repo so i will see the folders now here gcp terraform i will simply open this folder and now i directly open vs code from here so either you can open code open with code directly from here or another option you can simply type cmd here and cmd will open and then you can type code space dot so it will open a vs code instance for you in the same folder okay so this is opening a VS code folder for me yeah so uh, this is our second step also done that we created a repository and clone our repository to the local so clone repository to local and create github repository now we have a repository clone in our local system so now we can start creating a terraform configuration file so here i am not focusing more on complexity of terraform rather i will simply create a storage bucket which will be very simple terraform code and i will try to create a ci cd pipeline so whenever we push our code to the repository it will trigger the github action workflow and at the back end it will execute the terraform command like terraform init plan and apply okay so let me create simple terraform configuration file here so i will create main.tf here okay so this is a simple file and for terraform code i will go to uh, this terraform documentation and i will pick up very basic resource that is storage bucket and i will create this storage bucket so this is very basic code here i will give my module name as my bucket okay and this should be unique name so i'll mention something like tt github demo bucket okay yeah rest of the things i will keep as it is i will save it and first i will see my terraform code is fine working fine so i'll just try to execute terraform init i already installed terraform in my system so i'll execute terraform init okay so it fetch uh, the google provider based on this block uh, let me check the terraform plan okay so it is creating one resource that is one storage bucket so our code is working fine now let me first push this code to the github as the initial code so you just do git add git commit initial code okay my spelling mistake okay and git push So one thing uh, to just clarify here so i am not using any service account key in my local still it is uh, executing the terraform plan so the question is how it is getting authenticated with the google cloud environment so here i am using the application default credential which means without service account key also using my own email id i can authenticate for the application running on my system so if i execute gcloud auth list so you will see it is using my email id and if you want to avoid using the service account and want to use your own credential you can simply run the command gcloud auth application default login after that it will ask you to create link uh, click on the link and there it will fetch your yeah so here you just need to allow these apis okay and then it will use your email id or your own credential and you don't need any service account okay so that's why i'm not using any service account here still my terraform is working perfectly fine so now i pushed code to repository as well so let me go in a repository 
so let me reload so i should be having code here yeah main.tf i am having here and let me see in action so currently my github action workflow nothing is executed but it is asking to set up and there are a lot of options here so to configure terraform i'll just click on terraform how we can configure terraform and here it is giving us terraform.yaml file it is giving us all the things so i will use these things okay terraform mini terraform plan okay so initially i will just commit these changes okay and now i will just try to pull this i will do git pull so i will get that workflow created okay now let me get this uh, template which created here terraform.yaml and i will just remove this unnecessarily uh, this part from here okay so i'll just remove all these things so branch i have main that is fine so i will keep so my code will my workflow will be executed whenever i am pushing to the main branch okay and the job so i am running terraform so runs on ubuntu latest so there are two types of runner we need a runner like uh, either a github hosted or self hosted so this ubuntu latest is a github hosted runner so you don't need to worry about runners you can simply mention on the github hosted okay so i'll just simply save it and one more thing i will do here so let me go to my previous repository i have here yeah so i have one more repository already created where i have uh, the terraform code okay so i'll just add this part to my terraform command why i will tell you so i'm just adding this secret so simply i won't give any condition and i will just simply add simple terraform apply okay now this will run whenever i am pushing my code so that the condition we have given whenever i am pushing to the main branch so let me now push my code So I am expecting it to fail for first time. Why? I will show you. So I pushed my code. Okay, so it pushed to the main branch. Now let me go to the GitHub. Okay, so it pushed. Now let me see if any GitHub action workflow triggered. So, okay so it triggered now so let me see so this terraform is triggered and it failed at terraform format why it failed because uh, the formatting is not done correctly so what i will do i will execute terraform format okay not terraform format 
it is terraform fnt okay now it formatted my main.tf file let me push again it should not fail at format now and it will fail at plan i am purposefully troubleshooting the failure because you will understand what are the things required here while working on a github workflow so i'll go to summary and again i will go to action okay so the code is running now so let me open okay so so see the format is successful now it will fail on plan and it failed now let me show you why it is failing so it is showing attempted to load a application default credentials the credential nor access taken was set in provider block so here i did not created any provider block did not specified any service account keys because it is kind of security risk i am openly storing the service account keys so what i can do i can store this service account key in my github secret and then i can access this using the way i have mentioned here okay so let me create a github secret and store my service account keys there so i am in github so let me go to the setting in setting just scroll down and here we will see the secrets and variable okay so secrets new repository secret so the name i want to give same as i have mentioned here gcp sa key okay so it just gcp sa key i will give the same name okay and the service account i already created so i'll just download the key so let me go to the iam and admin in service account i have github action service account okay for which i already downloaded the key okay so one key is active here so that key is present here so let me open that key okay and let me copy this key so you should not store this key in a plain text as a security measure i will add in github secret i will add secret okay now i have my secret created here so i will go to my github action and now i will rerun already failed workflow so rerun job rerun all jobs so i want to rerun all jobs and we'll see again if it will fail or it will create a storage bucket okay so it's starting and it will run all stages one by one so first it is checking out the code terraform setup terraform init terraform format now plan plan is also executed and apply it gave some error so let us check that project required field is not set so in my code main.tf so the project is not set so that is again the valid error so let me set project and i will give the project name okay so that is my project name again i have to do terraform fnt so it won't fail at my terraform stage format stage i will again do git add git commit and whenever i do git push my pipeline will start automatically so i will go to the github action okay so this is running let me open and check the logs okay plan is running plan is successful all steps are successful and our complete csd pipeline is successful now and let me see 
storage bucket yeah it created storage bucket let me validate cloud storage if the bucket is created what is the name of our bucket tt github demo bucket so tt github demo bucket it just created okay so whenever we are just pushing the code it will execute our github action workflow so you can create multiple workflow you just need to create yaml file in this workflow folder so i already created other for docker build so creating the docker image so let me show you that as well so you can create workflows to build the docker image i just give the example of a terraform yeah so i have built here so you can create a docker image also whenever you are pushing your application code so these are the basic workflow example so using this we can create a github workflow so uh, that's it for this video and uh, we'll see you in the next video thank you for watching this video